Stimulus leaf diagrams, exam practice questions. Now, stimulus leaf diagrams are, I put it down as a level seven grade C question. It really does depend on what they're asking. If you're drawing like this one, a stimulus leaf diagram, which is, is the easier end of the scale, it's more of a level six grade D question. But you'll find stimulus leaf diagrams on the end of a foundation exam and towards the beginning of a higher exam. Although, um, looking at um, linear higher exams, there hasn't been, I haven't seen a stem leaf diagram recently on a higher exam, which doesn't mean they won't come on, but um, there's not been on recently. So this is mainly aimed at the higher end of foundation. Uh, to start with just the one, give an example of, of what we're doing here. So we've got uh, ages of people, 16 people, and we've got to draw this information on a diagram. So it's odd, we've got to do an ordered one. So the standard way to do that, okay, is to draw an, an unordered one. So you copy out the table that they've got here. The stem and leaf, so we've got values, we've got our lowest value, which is 18. Um, so we draw a one there to represent the, the 10. And then we've got some 20s, and then we've got some 30s, and we've got a 40 or two. So just as you would um, on a on a um, tally graph, you just go through and write down the values. But we don't do tallies; we put the numbers in. So, thirty-six. We put three there, which is the stem part, represent the thirty. And then we have the six, so thirty-six. Forty-eight, four eight, one eight is eighteen. Two and five twenty-five. Okay. Now we've got another thirty-six. So we just put another six next to the one we've already drawn. And we should try and keep our numbers in a nice neat line, um, as if this could be drawn as a bar chart if when we finish. So if we drew boxes around the numbers, it would give us a nice bar chart to see which one was bigger. So we've got a 36, we've got a 28, and a 45, and then a 30, and then a 38, and a 27. So 2 and 7, 27, 2 and 8, 28, 41, 16, 36, 48, 28, and 21. Okay, so that's unordered because these numbers are written in whatever order they came in. I do not recommend trying to draw ordered straight off. It's too easy to make a mistake and this is a three mark question you want to be getting all three marks there's always one mark for the key and it's it's highlighted here you must include the key the key is just one example to show you what it means so if i just take the first one one slash eight one slash eight equals 18. so that could have been 1.8 it could be 0.18 or it could be um, a different value so we need to tell the person looking at the diagram what it is and then we just put them in order so we've got an eight and a six so six comes first then eight and then this one we've got one followed by five followed by seven followed by two eights and then in the threes the thirties we've got a zero a six a six another six and an eight so i'm keeping them nice and vertical lines a one a five, an eight, and an eight. Okay, and that's three marks. Um, you would obviously lose marks for every mistake you made. From this diagram, we can see lots of things. We can see, um, well, we can see clearly that 36 is the mode, which you probably could have got from the values themselves. We can see that the 20s and 30s have had the same number of things. So the modal group will be 20 or 30. And from here, we could also calculate where the middle is if we crossed off one from each end and worked our way into the middle when we get to the medium. But I'm going to show you that in another question. So let's move on. Okay, one which drawn for us, and it's got a key. So one slash five represents 15 years of age. Write down the number of people in the sample. So you're not told how many people there are, but each one of these numbers on the right-hand side, the leaves of the stem and leaf diagram, represent one person or thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So I think there's 21, but I always check. 1, 2, 3, 4. 2021. Okay, always best to check. Write down the mode. What is the most common number? Well, it's not what digit appears the most. So there's lots of sevens. You got to remember what these numbers represent. So this number is not a seven. It's seventeen, and so is that one, and so is that one, and so is that one. So there's four seventeens there. I don't think there's four of anything else. Um, these sevens. This is twenty-seven, and this is thirty-seven. But these four sevens represent seventeen. So seventeen years is the most common, the mode. Work out the range. This is worth two marks because you've got to do a calculation. You've got to use the smallest value, which is this five, and the largest value, which is this five. So the range is not zero because this five represents 55, and this value represents 15. And when we work out the range, we're working out the difference between them. So we take the two away to get 40 for two marks. There'll be one mark for the method there, and one for the answer, but you'd have to have only one mistake to get one mark. Okay, another question. Okay, in this question we have um, another diagram that's been drawn for us, but this time the key is telling us the 5 slash 2 means 5.2. So this is 1.3, 1 1.5, 1 1.7, 1 1.7. Find the range, so this time we've got 5. 0.2 is our maximum value, minus our minimum value which is 1.3. If we take those two things away, um, we'd end up with, what well, if I take 1 off 5, that's 4 point, well, 5 .2 is 4.2. Take off the 0.3, it's going to be 3.9. Work out the median, where's the middle? So I'm going to cross off, now if I was doing this on a piece of paper, I would just use my fingers and count in from each end. Um, as I'm trying to demonstrate it, I should cross off one from each end until I get to the middle. And there it is. Um, if I've got an odd number of things, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, there'll always be something on its own in the middle. If I had an even number of things, there would be two things in the middle and I would have to go halfway. If both numbers were the same, say they were both 28, then I would just use 28 as the middle value, or the median value. A caterpillar is chosen at random from these caterpillars. Find the probability that the caterpillar is longer than four centimeters. So not technically a stem and leaf diagram question, but it is using the information from the diagram to do a probability question. So we'll just finish it off. Um, how, what, how many are bigger than four centimeters? So we've got one, two, three. Three are bigger than four, and there's 21 caterpillars. So the probability it's bigger than four is three over 21 for two marks. Okay, last question. Again, diagram's drawn for us already. How many of the 25 cars had a spread of more than 50, speed, sorry, speed of more than 50 miles per hour? Well, the key tells us 2 slash 9 is 29, so 50 would be 5 slash 0, so 5 slash 1 is 51, 52, 54, 56, 55, 56. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 values bigger than 50. Find the median speed. Again, we need to cross them off. Now I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it a slightly different way because it tells us there's 25 cars. Now I know it, you don't need to do this, you can just cross them off, but I know as a quick way, if I do 25 plus 1 divided by 2, that tells me 26 divided by 2 is 13. The 13th one I count in will be the median. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so 44 should be the median. And I can tell that because if I count, there should be 12 on this side below it because I counted 13 in and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12 on the other side. So that must be in the middle, which is 44. Be careful. Did all the hard work. Don't write 4 down. 44. Work out the range again. Very common question it would seem. 60 is the biggest one. Take away 29. And if it took away 30, that'd be 30. So 29 makes 31. 
always show you're working this sort of thing will save you a marks time and time again two mark question if you just wrote the answer down incorrectly made a silly mistake you lose lots of marks so always show the calculation you did to get to your answer